Yo, back with another one. Sir, earlier. Yo, remember the um the content I dropped yesterday about the ch the dude with the platform that had um paperwork on that dude QCP, the CEO of um, Quality Control Music that houses um little baby, the Migos, and little Yachty, and so forth. All right, the white boy name is Ten. 1090 Jake or something. You get what I'm saying? His platform is end of sentence. Didn't y'all hear? Y'all can go back to the video yesterday I made. I just dropped it yesterday at 5 p.m. But y'all heard me say, watch WAC 100 have this and that to say because WAC 100 always act like he got some type of relationship with these entities and with these individuals that, um, it looked at as like, yo, they, they got some type of big money and shit like that. So I knew this shit was going to go this way because I told y'all in the video yesterday, see, I, I, I catch on this shit, I see shit. Web 100 is selective with him. You get what I'm saying? It's selective. Now, he didn't switch the narrative around on dude. This is the dude, the white boy and shit that um, had the platform yesterday that y'all heard speaking on um, QCP and shit. So now he on Clubhouse on WAC 100's platform and he's speaking on like, yo, how he came into the YouTube world and um, he just basically speaking on shit and WAC 100 gonna change the narrative of shit and start calling him a rat. See, he defends people that he feel like, yo, he's in business with or it's some type of monetary game behind him going to bat for somebody. Like Blue Da Vinci, one of the um the members of the um BMF little group and shit. He got snitching allegations on him. Whack 100 go at Jim Jones, Mano, all these other people. But he ain't go at Blue Da Vinci. You get what I'm saying? Because Blue Da Vinci is part of um, BMF. B BMF is looked at as like a group of people that, you know, got that big bag, big that money and shit. So, like I said, WAC 100 always tried to side with those people that he feel like it's a monetary game and a monetary relationship. But y'all listen at 1090 Jake. It's the dude that I was trying to um, explain y'all about yesterday. He got the platform in of sentence. Now, him and Wack 100 gonna go at it with Wack 100 gonna try to clown him and shit, which I knew anyway. Try to change the narrative. You get what I'm saying? But y'all listen to this, man. It just hit my desk, so I had to bring it to the light. Man. And I got homies behind the wall that don't have an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? They can't do it. I have the ability to do it, so I'm not as well as you know whatever. Hey, yo, Kid Nani, so what happened to that nigga you riding on? What the end result of that? Didn't ride on no battle. Come on, bro. What's up, my friend? Nah, for real, like, we let's talk. Now, both of these individuals get paperwork. The paperwork is got now, you get what I'm saying? Like, I can't say about that. All I can say about it is, um, a motherfucker on um, rap sheet is public. I don't know how people be going to get court dockets and all of that shit. Like, yo, on this date, this person was in court. All right, here go the transcripts. All right, this is what his lawyer said. This is what he said. This is what the judge said. I, to this day, don't know how the fuck to get that type of shit. But you can pay to motherfucking get a motherfucker criminal background. That that's easy. You can go to the local um sheriff. I mean the local courthouse in your your town. That's if they in your town. Now you gonna have to go to their town if you want to get their paperwork. Far as like their court rep. I mean their rep criminal records. Now you can go. That's twenty five dollars here in North Carolina. Somebody can actually pay twenty five dollars right now and go get my um criminal background from the courthouse. Um, in the um in the county I reside in, so when motherfuckers be getting all of these documents and um trans court transcripts and all of that, I don't know how the fuck they do shit like that. 
Like, honestly, I do not know. But I know for sure that you can go get somebody criminal background. You ain't got to be no loved one. You ain't got to be no family member. You can just be any entity because what you think they do when they check your credit and shit like that in these jobs and shit. These motherfuckers go get your criminal background. So that's part of the um the rental application fee when you trying to find a house. That's why you have to pay money for a goddamn application fee is because they um they are going to get your criminal background just to see if you got any felonies or what type of charges you may have. You get what I'm saying? But yo, that's neither here nor there. Well, that's whack. The rap, bro. What rap? So now you gonna act like you don't know? You, you, no, I'm just you saying. Know, you, like, know. Like, you know. You act like you know. Because you, you don't know what's going on. Brand, I told you to make shit off. Because they can't talk about the problem. And see, you can see his real anger with whack because of the choice words that he uses. Now, y'all listen to, boy, check the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can tell he's angry because of somebody coming at somebody who he feel like is monetary gain with them. Come at baby and see what happened. You know, cash money, baby. See, he in cahoots. Whack 100 is in cahoots with baby and shit, too. They got some type of money business going on, so... Anybody that he has some type of monetary gain with and shit like that, a monetary relationship with, he go over to the back for them. Let's talk about your rap. I want to talk about your rap, nigga. What the fuck I want to talk about? So, and I see you as a motherfucking modern day classmate that's trying to tear down black people. All kids ain't your business. Let's talk about it. Modern day clans. Shut the fuck up, boy. You talk about it now. You the fucking boy. It's been reversed. So I'm going to ask you about the. See what I told you, y'all listen at the choice words that he used. You can tell it's real anger there. This is army milk right here, too. I rocks with this army milk. Talk about everything. Your rap can come first. So let's talk about clear up your rap. Can we talk about your rap? Yes or no? Your allegations of rap. Are we going to talk about your rap? If we talk about your motherfucking rap, you know, bitch, don't come in here and talk about no black man. I told you, y'all listen at the choice of words and then listen to how the narratives be spin of like, yo, try to bring racism in it. Come on, y'all gotta be on top of this type of shit. And I also have some content I might drop today. I don't know when I'm gonna drop it, but I'm re ready to get my real journalism on. Like, I, I sat down and wrote shit just so I can bring out key elements of the reason why I'm sharing this content. Not this content right here per se, but some other content that I suppose I had dropped several days ago, but never done it because I'm impatient and you get what I'm saying? My mind got to be wanting to do certain shit. If I don't want to do shit for the day, but just play the game or just sit back and smoke and watch YouTube and shit, then that's where my mind at. So I have to be having to pick myself up and be like, yo, all right, today I'm going to go and do a reaction to this. There's a whole lot of shit be going on that I could be like, yo, I'm ready to react to that, but it's not going to be real when I'm not really there for us, like mentally there, like wanting to have the patience to sit down and dig deep in certain shit. Some shit we catch wind of together because I don't do no, um, I don't do my due diligence on anything. I don't research. I don't do nothing. I just bring it to you all and then I react to it while I'm, um, you know, present that shit to y'all, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get that journalism shit. Re like I'm ready to take down notes and be like, "Yo, why is I'm sharing this content?" Okay, it's a message in here. Let me write down what this message is and the meaning of why I want people to know this message. You get what I'm saying? A little shit like that. I'm ready to take this shit a little bit more seriously. Every year I take YouTube seriously. I've been dealing with this shit since 2019. This is probably like my fourth channel. You get what I'm saying? The reason why I got this channel is because my other channel, I lost motherfucking access to it because of trying to change passwords and forgot my password. Now, Google is so strict with don't want people to get them. You know, if they big on their identity theft and all of that shit. So you really have to go through 
security uh, measures and all of that shit just for them to verify who you are. So they sending motherfucking confirmation codes and shit to old devices that I no longer have um, access to. So I was like, damn, it's just a loss with that channel. I was like 300, almost 400 subscribers and shit. So I slowly rebuild this shit from the ground. And the reason why I got the sub that I have now is because you might have this one individual that you know you might be sharing their content and then they're coming so they be on some shit like yo this person got a channel let me go check their content out then they up one day and share you on their community tab you get what i'm saying so that's how people get wind of me i don't know if youtube be putting my shit out there in the algorithm or whatever the case but i can honestly say like just talk real talk um he he shared me out and shit. And he he got um a good following as far as like subscribers, um two thousand plus maybe three thousand plus. Um I'm not for sure, but it be cats like um just talk real talk on um, podcast and shit that be sharing me out. I bet you people can go to their analytics or whatever and see who's sharing their shit, and you will see that I be sharing you all shit. You get what I'm saying? So. That's how people be coming up. So some of the people that got eyes on me when I share other people's shit, that get eyes on you all as well and shit. You get what I'm saying? So that shit got to be reciprocated. I'm being on reciprocation and shit. Because there's a whole lot of people who I'm members um, on their channel and shit. And now that I think about it, I should go to my Google settings and shit and... um. And um, in my motherfucking membership with some of these channels and shit. You get what I'm saying? I ain't ready to be paying money. And then you don't even see like the full content or whatever. You know how some channels be like, yo, you a member. So you all get special access to longer videos and shit like that, man. You go on that shit. Motherfucker don't be nothing special. You get what I'm saying? So I'm ready to stop doing that shit. You get what I'm saying? And then you doing that. But the whole time, you ain't no mod, which I really don't care about that mod, because when I used to mod people, it was just a way to show people, like, I fuck with you and rock with you, but that mod shit is to be taken serious. Like, you supposed to be sharing motherfuckers on uh, different platforms, and you supposed to be looking out for the hate in the comments and shit. I'm not going to be looking for no goddamn hate. I'm going to be damn in tune, in tune with the content and shit. I ain't got time to be just going through the comments and shit to see who's saying some hating shit. So, excuse me, y'all. So, that's that's what that mod shit about. Y'all need to take that shit more seriously and shit. And stop giving that shit out to just anybody just because you rock with them. Give it to them people as a job for them to really do. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. I'm ready to take this. I keep saying ready, but... Is YouTube ready to be serious because I'm, I'm wasting time. I'm giving you all the time of my day and I could be doing other shit. Sometimes my shit don't even get viewed. When my shit get over 60, I'll be like, what? 60 people really looking at my shit? You get what I'm saying? So I appreciate that shit. Whoever be looking at my shit. You ain't got to come because YouTube content ain't about motherfuckers getting on here. Making got where certain channels are. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody got to be liking your shit or making comments. People want to just check out something and then that be that. Motherfuckers don't want to be known. You get what I'm saying? And so forth. So y'all be demanding likes and shit. I'm still going to be that individual that y'all never heard like go like this. Soon a motherfucker tune in to somebody live. Y'all hit this like man before I damn get to talking about this or that. Okay. You might get on this motherfucker talking about some pedophile shit. Now, why would we hit the like when we don't even know what the content about yet? And then you might be talking about some shit that I don't even like. So that's what I be saying about that like. See, nobody never listens, but somebody want to motherfucking hear you. You get what I'm saying? See, Wack 100, if you ask me, this is just me just thinking. 
Like, yo, Wack 100 got some type of animosity with dude because he a white boy for one. He's trying to scream like he he acting like he a white boy that's a blood. That's number two. Number three, this motherfucker that came up overnight off of just an interview. Like he somebody interviewed him and then people telling him like, yo, you should make a channel. So he makes a channel and shit. Now he got them, got the whole goddamn masses and everybody behind him and rocking with him. So those are three to four reasons why WAC 100 got animosity with this dude. And to be real with you, I had anim I'm real enough to say it. Come on, who else gonna say some shit like I had animosity toward this white dude and shit because I can't stand with them white boys and shit. Act, try to act all hood and black and all of this and that. You get what I'm saying? So, in certain aspects, I was feeling whack 100, but I'm not with him fully on this. You get what I'm saying? But I was feeling him like, yo, certain shit you got to damn just let be, like if it's dealing with blacks and shit. Now, you already, I don't give a damn how much you try to act hood and this and that. Certain shit you shouldn't even open your mouth about as a white person, individual and shit like that. But, I used to have animosity toward this dude because I cannot stand a white boy to be on that hard, that hard blood shit. Any type of gang banging shit, but mainly from the world that I was coming from. And I'm looking at you as in the world that you, you were on um, more op in real life. You get what I'm saying? So you, I just don't like that rah-rah shit from white motherfuckers and shit trying to act all hood and black. And that's real enough for me to say that I don't hold my tongue for shit. I'm blunt. So the new subscribers, I'm blunt. Y'all, y'all should damn. She get what I'm saying. Motherfuckers should get with that shit. So you'll never know or try to guess. I mean, you'll never try to guess somebody um, motives or intentions. You already know and shit. And I don't mean no malice with my goddamn opinions or anything. <laughs> See, that's why I was talking about. I just broke it down to y'all. Four reasons of it's obvious why WAC 100 got something with this dude. Now, rewind a couple of, um, like a minute from on this video, and I explain the, um, the three to four reasons. It, it, it's nothing else because I'm speaking on why I didn't like the motherfucker my goddamn self. You get what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, this is motherfucking um, content from Clubhouse TV, man. Y'all go check out that platform on YouTube and shit. He normally shares shit um, dealing with WAC 100, bro. So, there you have it, WAC 100. I was just saying this shit yesterday in my video I did and shit about watch WAC 100 act like he got down cool with QCP and shit like that just because QCP is looked at as a money a big money entity you get what I'm saying well I just told y'all man y'all got <laughs> y'all got to see through shit man but yeah man he tried to change the narrative on um, 1090 Jake so that's the dude that I kept trying to explain to y'all about yesterday and I couldn't think of his name like that all I could think of is um, his channel and of sentence, E N D of sentence. So <laughs> I knew WAC 100 was gonna try to get at him. You get what I'm saying? So dude gets on Clubhouse. Somebody probably was like, "Yo, WAC 100 want to ask you some questions or something." He goes over there, and that's what y'all heard WAC 100 spazzing and doing this and that, changing the narrative of what the real shit supposed to be talking about. You get what I'm saying? Of QCP ratting. But instead of motherfucking Wack 100 asking questions about that, like, yo, how do you know this? Where's the paperwork? How did you get the paperwork? It's a decision. Wack 100 started being personal with the motherfucker. Damn, just the longest I done did a video, almost 20 minutes in. 19 uh, minutes. It's been real, sir, early, man.